Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tommy and welcome to another episode of Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing an in-depth comparison of the 2016 Hobie Outback and my brand new 2019 Hobie Outback. So stay tuned. If you're new to my channel and you like fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, or just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors, Consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and clicking that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Alright guys, so I have here side by side are my 2016 Hobie Outback and my 2019 Hobie Outback. I'm going to show you guys uh, the differences between the two. One big thing that a lot of people have been talking about is uh, how the older one, the 2016, is actually higher than the... 2019 and it actually is if you look here on the side here you can see that it's uh, it is a bit taller on the sides um, let me get a measurement for you I will um, get a measurement and then I will list those right now so you can see the height differences uh, from the outside I'm gonna do it from from the center here um, from the ground up From the ground up, it is about 13 inches. This is all rough estimates. Yeah, from the ground up, it's about 13 on the 2019. And then from the ground up on the 2016, it's roughly, say, about 15 and 3 quarters. Again, these are all rough. I'm just doing it from the ground up. And it's in my grass, so take that into consideration. All right, guys. So one of the other big things about the uh, 2019 and the uh, 2016 was the design of the bow. You can already see here. There's a huge difference. The flare on the uh, the bow of the uh, 19 is really nice here. You can see how this will help it cut through the water better. Then on the 2016, which has has this kind of rounded lip here, or whatever you call it, um, which actually made it um, deflect the water better. Uh, if you watched my uh, uh, my maiden voyage, you can see that the um, going into the uh, chop actually does cause uh, water to come over. But as you can see with the 2016 how this can kind of make it deflect away from the hole as, as opposed to uh, coming in over the, the top of it. So I'm uh, going to get a couple b-roll shots of um, each of the bows so you guys can get a better look. So the front of the 2019 I measured from the top of the hatch to the point is uh, 22 inches and on the 2016 from the top of the hatch here to the point is about 9, I'm sorry, about 18 inches. Um, you can see the widths look a little different. I actually measured the uh, 16 was actually about 20 and I measured across from the top of the um, the hatch is about 20. But again these are rough estimates or rough measurements uh, and I did the same on the 2019 it was actually like 21 so 
it's actually wider there uh, and then um, what I'll do is um for the hatches what I'll do is I'll get a measurement for you oh, actually oh I got some water in there I will uh, take a picture show you the measurements um, and a still picture so this is the 20 16 and then here's the hatch of the 2019 uh, 2019 is um, a little bit smaller I think it's just a little bit uh, it's not as wide as the the um, 2016 so I get those measurements and put it in a still all right so moving on from the front hatch uh, well, big difference I didn't show on the front hatch is the way you close them. This is the 2016. You have this little bungee pole. Um, this is actually where I put my um, my leash for my Mirage Drive. So this actually acts as a nice way to actually pull up my pull the bungee. Because, you know, you got to get your fingers in here. With this, I can just pull that. So uh, then, of course, the 16 has the sailing mast. That is my uh, battery holder. I think that's from the Hobie kit. And then there is a, um, I put a, actually a ram mount, but this would actually be this, where the sailing mask would go. And then on the 2019, it has the same thing. The sailing mast is there. And there's the actual hole here for the sailing mast. But the 16 closes differently. You've got these here. It's a lot, a lot easier actually to open and close. You just pull these just like that. Then when you want to close them, you just pop them right back on. Uh, then continue with the 19. You've got the rod holders here. Uh, of course, they're new with these little tabs. The tabs are cool, but the rod holders actually have to turn them it's kind of annoying these actually kept getting stuck like that when I pulled my rod out so you actually need to turn them a little bit just so that it's easy to um or so they get out of the way it's kind of annoying actually <laughs> so and then they have the rod holders uh here I'll show you a little higher sight here there's a look at the 16 there's the 19 so here are my rod holders here on the 16. See, look at that. See, actually on the 16, you probably just need to loosen the screws. See how I pull it out and then it slides back easily. That's not the case on the 19. Maybe just because it's new, I don't know. But yeah, see how that flips down? That's annoying. But anyways, moving on, there's the uh, Mirage Drive well. Um, so it's quite dirty right now because I went snakehead fishing, so I got into a bunch of mud. Didn't clean it up really for well enough. Um, and on the 16, here are the rubber mats. Um, this actually does not come with the, uh, the rubber ones. Uh, it comes with the regular mesh. I, this is one of the first things I changed because I got a hook stuck in it and it's quite annoying. Um, and they're fish finder ready on both sides. The screws are there because I moved my fish finder for crabbing. Um, I made a video about that, so you can check that out. Maybe I'll probably provide a link in a link above. Uh, this one to be fish finder ready. Um, I actually took this out because I was uh, moving it to my 2019. So you got the two trays on each side. Uh, Hobie on the that's on the 2016. Sorry. 2019 instead now we have the nice H rails with the tracks um, then it's got the tool accessory holders and it comes standard with the rubber mesh which is nice and then of course you have the nice little holders here for your accessories I have my little grip here um, oh see and I have scissors right there so and it's the same thing on the other side, same mesh, accessory holder and everything. Um, so back to the 16, 
Um, we got the same thing over here. Your paddle holders. Then here's your steering. I put this knob on. It's just easier to grab onto. Then you got your your handles on both sides. And this uh, rectangular hatch is not standard on the 16. I actually had the round hatch. I pulled it out and put in the rectangular hatch. This rectangular hatch is awesome. It's a lot of space. It's dirty in there too. Uh, <laughs> I need to clean up this boat. But so what I'm gonna do actually with the circle hatch that I took out of there, I'm actually gonna install it on my 2019 back here. You can see there's actually a little cutout for that. So anyways, moving on. I should have put my seats on. Oh, it's okay. Um, that's where your seat would go. And then of course they have um, the trays here in the back. As you can see on my 2016, I added the track mounts. I'll give you guys an, uh, like, uh, give you guys a tour of my fishing setup in a future video. And then there, that's where the, um, the transducer would go. Uh, I have a total scan on that one. And then here on the 2019, oh, forgot to mention, 2016's got the cup holders over there. And then there's another one over there. So back on the 2019, there are the cup holders there, another one over there, and then the same paddle holders, one on each side. Probably gonna change those. And then what they did different is the handles actually are underneath the seat. Then the nice awesome thing they did was they put steering controls on each side. Um, that actually really does help a lot when you're fighting a fish and you have to actually, you know, move your rod to one hand or the fish is on the other side or what have you. So, um, so moving back more, on the 19, you can see the uh, trays on both sides. Um, and then also down there, that is where the uh, transducer would come in. Um, and on the bottom is that Guardian fish finder mount uh, so moving further back staying on the 2019 again you have more rod holders with the tabs same thing on the other side oh and I forgot to mention on the 2019 is the two scupper holes so you got in the front here you have a scupper then on the back you have a scupper uh, and continuing further back, you have more track mounts here. And it's nice bungee here. Um, it's actually very wide back here. Before on the 2016, I couldn't fit my uh, Ingle cooler. But actually the rod holders would actually sit up on these. But now uh, it actually fits flat on my 2019. And I'll show you guys a tour of that too when I get everything figured out on my 2019. But getting back to this, I'm going all over the place, so I'm sorry. Uh, you have the tracks. It's got the bungees here to hold your tackle boxes in. Uh, and then this, you can move your bungee up or down, however you like. Uh, the back, let's go back to the 2016. Uh, the 2016, you can see the rod holders on each side here. You have the scuppers only in the back. And then there is the drive well. Uh, I'll get measurements on the drive well and I will do a, um, a still and I'll show you the um, measurements. And there's the 2019 drive well really big. I, mean, I can't even get the whole thing. There we go. Get the whole thing in the uh, the frame. All right, so moving further back, you can see that, like I mentioned earlier, that's where a circle hatch could go. 
and then on the 2016 it's actually already back here but it's not in the um, the well the tank well actually so it's back here so you got the circle hatch back here uh, don't really need to open it you know what that looks like probably so the one I had that I replaced again I'm gonna put it in there um, I actually talked to Delaware Paddle Sports and they said if you do it it will not void your warranty I just have to make sure I measure twice and pray for the rest <laughs> so going further back now I'm gonna turn around so this is the back of the 2019 um, you can see it looks very similar to the Compass or the Pro Angler. It's got the handle here on the back. And you also have to use this uh, Hobie loader, which is vital, actually. You can watch uh, another video I made about the, I'm sorry, Outback loader. This is actually where the steering controls I'm um, going to. You can see the, that's actually loose. I don't know if these are supposed to be loose like that. But anyways, um, and then you got a little eye there for whatever, I don't know. Oh, and here's a big thing on the 2019. This is actually used for your um, your cartwheels, so you can actually bungee your cart down on the back. All right, and going to the 2016, you can see the back looks very, very different. It's not squared off and it's not there's actually a lot more space back here. Um, just mounting space, really, because these are actually used for, these four screw holes are used for a um, micro power pole mount. Uh, I'll be mounting a new bracket to mount my uh, big speed jet on. So uh, stay tuned for a future video on that. And then on the 2016, you can see it's kind of, um, it's not squared off on the back. And that is actually a big speed jet rudder uh, doing a mod also with this I'm gonna actually take my sailing rudder and cut it out and use this because um, this rudder does not turn very well um, if you're using the Mirage ride. It turns great when you're using um, the big shoes head under power but not so great with the Mirage drive so stay tuned for another video on that. All right, so one of the biggest changes with the uh, 2019 Outback, of course, is the new rudder system. It looks very similar to a PA and the compass style. So when it is uh, stowed, it's up. And then when deployed, it's down. Uh, if you, you can actually see in uh, my maiden voyage video where it, um, it actually really does turn on a dime. Um, I was concerned about that, but I am not anymore, so that is the rudder on the 2019. Oh, and I actually left out the, uh, the rudder um, pulleys, so on the 2016 has the down pulley on the right side and then the up on the left side over here. So if I were to pull this up, this one here, it will pull up. Pull up my rudder on the back. And then of course the down will deploy it. Oh it's gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna fall off the stand of my Jeep then. There you go. Alright. And then on the 2019 the rudder control to pull it up and down. So this right now means it's down. So if you pull it, you hear it click. See this has like teeth in it, so the teeth actually catch uh, when you pull it up and then it stays up. So does the cord. Sorry about that car. So, and then to uh, pull it down, all you just pull up and then you actually have to pull it out. Um, you can see there's like a this little hole. So when you pull it, you slide it up into the hole. And that's what releases it. 
that's what makes your uh, rudder go down. And then, of course, on the other side, uh, it's got the um, pulley here for the uh, Guardian transducer. So right now it's actually up because it's pulled out. So if I want to deploy it, again, you just pull it, push the cable or string into the uh, pole, let it go, and then it goes down. So right now it's down. I just pull it up, and that puts the uh, Guardian up. All right, so one big important thing I um, forgot to do was um, show the uh, 2019 hatch, which is actually oriented differently from the 16, as you can see. Um, well, you could actually, I guess, you could make the 16 the same way if you wanted, but it'll come out differently. Or you could probably even order this hatch, I guess, probably at some point too. Uh, well, actually, it might not fit because of the way the Mirage drive well is. Alright, so what I'm going to do is um, I'll give you guys a measurement of the 2016 hatch. Um, I'll measure from, from here to here. So I'll give you the length and width of the uh, 2019. And then, then I'll also give you the uh, measurements of a uh, 2016. So I have it oriented that way, just so they look the same. So I will take stills and I give you the measurements side by side. All right, so of course one of the biggest new features is this Guardian uh, transducer mount, which right now it is uh, up right now so if I pull over here and deploy it I'm gonna deploy it you'll see now that the transducer is now down then of course if you hit anything this is supposed to push up so if you hit a rock or anything, it'll actually, um, it won't hurt your transducer. All right, so on the 2016, it's uh, Lowrance ready. So it's got the uh, mounting on the bottom. Mine's different because I actually put the Burley Pro transducer mount on it. This is just to protect my total scan transducer because it sticks way out. But it does a really good job of protecting my um, total scan transducer because that thing is not cheap so that's what I got on my uh, 2016 so just keep in mind it won't come with this but um, it is Lowrance ready all right so here's a side-by-side -side of the two seats the left is the 16 and the 19 is on the right the 19 is supposed to be one and a half inches uh, wider and then also the width of the um, Outback is now uh, 34 inches, so it's an inch wider than the 2016. So this is the older CT seat. Um, the 19 is actually the CTW. So on the back, you will see it says CTW. And on the 16, it's just a CT. Uh, the controls are pretty much the same on both, where you can uh, adjust. Here on the top, it adjusts back and forward, and then this bottom adjusts the lumbar support, which uh, it's pretty sweet, actually. Somebody asked me to measure the height of the seat from the seat down to the floor. So I'm gonna do that on uh, both of them. Um, and the way I'm gonna do it actually is, I'll measure, right now it's on the high position, so the back, the kickstand is on the high. So if I um, pull it, I'm gonna just pull the seat here. 
So now it's in the low position. So I will um, give you the height from the top of the seat to the floor now. And then when it's in the, that's the, I guess, medium position or middle position. So that's just the uh, kickstands on the floor. So I'll give you the measurement now for that. And then if you pull it up onto the stands, that is the high position. So I'll give you the measurements for that now. Someone asked me to get the measurement of the gunnel inside both outbacks. So here are the measurements right in front of the seat. All right guys, so now I've put my uh, outbacks on some stands so you guys can get a look at the uh, Mirage Drive. So here is the uh, 2019, of course you can see it's got the uh, 180 drive on it. Uh, I didn't actually think I needed it, but it's actually so convenient to be able to just, you know, pull the switch and uh, go into reverse. It is very easy to do. Just reverses. Simple pull forward is a very simple pull. So very happy with that actually. And then here's the uh, 2016. This is just a regular standard Mirage drive for the 2016, but it does have turbo fins on it. So I'm gonna put them flat against the hull so you guys can see uh, what they look like. All right, so now I've got the 180 drive flat against the hull of the 2019, which you can see here. Here it is from the side. Wow, that's pretty darn flat against there. And from the bottom, it's one side. I can't really get directly underneath. I hope you can see that. Should get a light, or put a light down here. Let's get from this side. And then, here's the 20. 16 flat or somewhat flat uh, you can see it here here it is from the side I get that. there it is from the side yeah, I can't really see it too well but. and from the bottom see it from the bottom a little better All right guys, so now I have the uh, both kayaks flipped over. Gonna get some B-roll shots for you. You can already see the, uh, the bows look way different. So here's the 2016 before I do the B-roll shots. You can see how flat it is up here. And then it's just got the, the flare right there. But you can see where the water would actually push to the sides. Um, and then on the uh, 19, that is not there at all. So it's just water would just come slide right off, but it actually does go into your uh, Mirage Drive well. So here's some uh, B roll footage of the bottom.
All right, so that was the uh, comparison of my 2019 Hobie Outback with my 2016. Um, if you have any comments or questions, or if I left anything out, uh, please comment in the comment section below. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, the cool thing with it is um, I've got this rope attached to it. And to pull it up, all I have to do is pull up on the rope and comes up nicely. And I just tie it off just to make